so juniors, please meet up. Uh, juniors to council, please meet us here after break. It seems you guys are so confused about fall fair, so let us clarify for you guys. And anyone else who has fall fair questions or, got, or who still hasn't turned in a form because you're confused, please also meet us up here so we can talk to you. Thank you. I have a service announcement for all of you. There is an event happening that's being put on by the Old Fisherman's Wharf Association called the Art of the Sea, and they are looking for volunteers to help with that. It's on Saturday, September 22nd, especially if you're interested in art. So uh, I will post this on the bulletin board by room 9, and Mr. Harmon has a recognition of a student who has done something in service. Um. From time to time, uh, we get letters like the one I want to quote from, uh, and uh, this one concludes uh, with uh, wanting to thank the entire community for uh, our value of your participating in community service projects, um, and, and it ends with how one student's efforts can produce outstanding results. So thanks to all of you who do these things. But let me just read you the uh, opening line. We want to share with you our great appreciation of the community service that York student Austin Eaton has provided in the spring and the summer. Austin, thank you. Eighth graders and 12th graders who would like to go to the Authors and Ideas Festival on Student Day, Thursday morning, the 27th, you need to let me know by today. I'm going to tell them how many seats we need. So please let me know. There is a link on the email that gets sent home on Fridays. And you can sign up on that or you can just tell me. Thanks. Another reason why you should join choir if you haven't joined choir yet. I just got a, an email this weekend from Haley. I remember Haley? Graduated last year. She told me that she got into the Princeton College Chapel Choir, which is a paid gig. Sure be flipping hamburgers. <laughs> Remind you that SHIELD applications are due today. If you are in the 10th or 11th or 12th grade and you're interested in being part of this ambassador organization that helps us talk to the community about what it's like to be at York School, please pick an up an application. If you haven't already, they'll be in the main office. And please turn them in by, the, by 3.30 today in the main office. And any questions, please see Ms. Godoyne or me. Thanks very much. So, this week starting Wednesday, we're going to have another Spirit Week. And it starts with Gender Gender Day. So, for those of you who don't know what that is, it's just basically when guys dress like girls and girls dress like guys. So it's really funny. And um, make sure that you get as much as your class as possible to participate because you get class points. Okay, so Wednesday Gender Monday, Thursday is Crazy Sock Day, and Friday is Twin Day. Okay, so volleyball has three games this week, so everybody should come and support us. We have one, they're all home, and tomorrow we play Kirby, Thursday we're going to be playing Oakwood, and then on Friday we're playing Greenfield, all at home in the gym, so everybody should come and support us. Yes, please. Woo. And in, in addition to that, any of you who come, you guys can get community service hours for being the line people and point in and out. Really easy. And, yeah, it's a really, really easy job, and you get to watch the game up close. Um, so you guys can get community service for that. It can't really count towards your service learning, but that's kind of like a little extra service learning to go above and beyond. And also IOUs. I will be hunting you down tomorrow, so please pay us back. And since it's with interest, you guys now today, it's going to be from the bake sale, 75 cents more, and from the pizza sale, 25 cents more. So tomorrow, when Kendall hunts you down, it'll actually be either 50 cents more or a dollar more. So please pay us back. Make my job easy. <laughs> Monday morning and you guys are feeling a little cranky, but you should come to Key Club tomorrow during lunch in room 8. We're going to be working on um, my project. If you don't know what that is, come to Key Club and find out. It'll be fun. Yeah. There will be a wilderness club meeting 
tomorrow at the beginning of lunch in room 20. Uh, we'll just be discussing like transportation for the camping trip and what to bring and stuff like that. So everyone who's going on the camping trip needs to be there tomorrow.